Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash petty revenge. In today's episode. IT department. Then you figure it out. Try and get me fired, repeatedly, then ask for a favor. That is going to happen. Wake me up because you're too lazy to learn to cook for yourself. Enjoy having the shits. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. IT department. Then you figure it out. Years ago, I was working for a web hosting company. I was on the fraud IT team. We provided a service to clean websites what were hacked, we also would shut down sites violating out terms of service. Super easy stuff when it comes to the IT world, but still needing to know your stuff. The issue, a coworker was lazy, he would take smoke breaks every 15 minutes, be gone for a half hour, then show back up. He stunk and didn't get a lot done. I didn't actually mind stepping up and taking most of the workload, I was young, ambitious, and a bit naive. Until one day, I found out that he was taking credit for the work I did. Not cool. The reason for revenge, I realized that each time management came by, he would focus on his work and find some errand for me to do that would send me to a different floor for 10 minutes or so, he would then make his move and take credit for my work, making me look lazy. Knowing he was lazy, I came up with a plan. The revenge, when he would leave for his smoke break, I unplugged his internet cable just slightly enough that unless you went to reseat it, unplug and plug back in, it would look like it was plugged in. Fallout. He never took the time to physically reseat the connections. He would just glance at the plug, submit a ticket to internal IT, then while waiting for them, go on a smoke break again. I would quickly plug it back in by the time internal IT came around. He began to complain to management, and since internal IT never saw any issues, they began to question his work and they took a closer look. Logs don't lie. I stopped unplugging it as they got a mole to spy on us, it was very obvious as the mole would walk by us every hour. I got promoted and he, well, he went to a lower level. Try and get me fired, repeatedly, then ask for a favor. That is going to happen. I used to hand make prototypes and samples at a local spring company. Generally, once the design was approved, they would be produced in volume on automated machines. The pro production supervisor, Peter, had been trying to get me fired for months. Nice guy, cough. Everybody hated him. He also knew I was making samples of a very challenging design. Very small, lots of bends, close tolerances. Peter comes to visit, you making these parts? Yes. Don't make them too good, because we are. Going to have trouble making them on the machines. Okay, I understand, sure thing, no problem. So I spent extra time, making them as good as possible, made extra. Then sorted them to find the very best pieces in the middle of the tolerance. They were beautiful. And as close to perfect as humanly possible. And it made his job that much harder. Wake me up because you're too lazy to learn to cook for yourself. Enjoy having the shits. Not my story, but my friends. Her brother, 26M, is a lazy, 
entitled moron who never learned how to cook for himself. He makes every excuse to avoid learning, from, oh, it's too hard, to, I always burn the eggs. My friend was trying to sleep one day, and he barges in her room asking her to make him something to eat. She's pissed off, so rather than say no, she takes some brownie mix, some magnesium citrate, and mixes it together to make a nice batch of very effective, fast-acting laxative brownies. Thirty minutes later, he's shitting his brains out and can't figure out why. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.